Hello, hello, everybody. How is everybody doing today? Hey, Outsux, how are you? Welcome, welcome. So, hey, Evo, how are you? Oh, my is my mic okay? I think so. Uh, um, let me see. So, today we're going to be uh, unboxing... Hey, Sleepoke, how are you? So, today we're going to be unboxing... Of a, a board that I ordered a long time ago. Hey, Lubed Helios and Sleep Repeat, how are you guys? Thank you, thank you for joining me. Um, I ordered a long time ago. There was delay after delay, but and then all the proxy time it takes for the board to get here. But it's here, it's here finally. So we're gonna take a look at the one of the new colors for the CA66 that was exclusively for the round two. It is a, I think it's a dark blue, if I remember correctly. It's been so long ago that I don't even remember it anymore. But anyways, um, yeah, we're going to be do, taking a look at that, that board today. And um, another thing that I got an update uh, from recently was, I don't know if you guys were here, but we did that lube experimentation with AliExpress. And one of the lubes basically disappeared. That liquid... Hey, try hard. how are you? Thank you for joining and welcome. Um, so we're, we're unboxing the CA66 in a, in a couple of minutes. Just giving a few updates. So I was talking about the lube experiment, uh, the AliExpress lube experiment that we did. Uh, so I found out that the lube that was disappearing is actually a lube uh, that is supposed to... It is supposed to evaporate and leave behind uh, a thin layer of silicone uh, lube. So, in the next uh, couple of days, I don't know when precisely yet, we're going to be re revisiting that lube experience. What I want to do is try to bag lube. Oh, you're, oh th there's a Fortnite World Cup going on. I didn't even know. That's nice. So I will try to bag lube uh, switches enough to build a board and then I'll try to build a board with it. Um, but before that, I even want to put it under the new microscope that I got so we can see if we can see uh, that thin layer of lube uh, on the switch. So that's that's coming. And on, on top of that, I have I don't know if you guys seen, but I I had a uh, hold on. We have this uh, X Alok thing, which is a a board I want to debut on stream soon. I don't know if that's happening throughout the weekend or next week, but we're gonna be unboxing this. Uh, oh my god! I don't even imagine what is five hundred thousand viewers. <laughs> That's really crazy. Yeah, I think only can 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 do that kind of thing on the keyboard's world. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be unboxing this uh, this soon enough as well. And uh, I will run. So this is a project that I want to get some attention to. So I'm probably gonna be doing a giveaway when we unbox this guy. Uh, I still don't know what I'm gonna give away. Uh, I have a couple of ideas. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's. That's enough of small talk. Let's. Uh, hey, super normal like. How are you? Yeah, I'm not very in the loop of any games, but I know that Fortnite. Thank you again for the hosting. Try hard. And I am not, you know, into the gaming world, but I have a nephew that is deep into it. He used to play. Hey, Tubies. Thank you so much, man. It's really appreciated. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, I've been doing this for a while now, and uh, it's always nice to meet new people. So be welcome to, to my humble channel. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to be taking a look at the CA66, as I said, over and over. So yeah, welcome, man. Thank you for the, for the cheer. Really appreciate it. All right, let me get the box. So 
So here we have it. Yeah, Lubed Helios is here all the time. Like he's, and I know he's everywhere. So. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's unbox this baby, CA66. And I was telling before you arrived, Tube, is that this is a one of the new colors for round two of the group buy. It's a, it's a dark blue, if I remember correctly. Not, not really sure, but I think it is a dark blue, very deep blue. So hopefully it's, uh, it turns out nice. Oh, you do have it. So don't spoil it. I'm not going to ask if it looks nice or no, not because I just received mine. Yeah. And for me, um, I am not in US. I am actually in Brazil. So either it looks, <laughs> I, I am good with that. Let's go with that. Either nice or not is good. Like uh, when people ask, is it nice or not? And people respond, yes. Yeah, I'm in Brazil, so it takes a little while for the boards to arrive here because basically what I need to do in order to avoid, you know, a huge tax burden is to ship them to US to a proxy and then ship them over here. So it adds from, you know, two to four weeks to the overall, overall time for me to receive stuff. So that's why um, I am always the last person to unbox those nice parts, <laughs> but I still do it. Mice country? Are you saying that my country is full of mice? <laughs> I'm messing with you. I know, I know you didn't mean that. And if you did, it's better if, if you pretend you didn't. No, but uh, I'm biased, right? I <laughs> Yes, actually the first meetup we had here in Brazil was in my place. So I ha I did a meetup on my apartment and we're thinking about doing another one this year. And we, we got a lot of people on the community, new people. So I'm actually trying to get a place. I live in an apartment, but they do have like a big, uh, they call it gourmet space. It's basically a place with a lot of infrastructure. You have a place where you can cook. Uh, there's a barbecue place and a lot of tables. So what I'm trying to see if I can come up with is, you know, get that place so we can host the meeting there. Because this time around, I think we're going to have a lot more people over. And yeah, so I'm planning on having the second Brazilian meetup. Timon has said he's coming. He's, he's getting... A ride with Arctic Fox, right, Demon? Oh yeah, let me let me show you that. Um, where is that? Here. So this is the visible part of my humble collection of keyboards. Um, yeah, there is a variety of keyboards back there. Um, yeah, LZ Iron, I have the the acrylic Alice. I have a re I have the the Alice as well. It's beside me here. Um, man, I don't know even where to start. I am deep into this hobby. That's that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, I love uh, I have an, another one that is Oh, I have the Elephant uh, S7 here, which is one of my favorites. The Grid 600 that I also like. I have a Viper here. Uh, pearl. I actually have three pearls. I have this pearl over here. I have another one. I, I think it's down there, which is an acrylic pearl. And I have one still left to be built. Yeah, there, there. I have the M0110. And I also have the bigger version of it, that. The I think it's M0110A, which is... Let me see if I can show you. Pardon the mess. Uh, somewhere over there. No, this side. There. No, that's not it. Uh, where is it? Yeah, the microphone is in the way. Down there. So that's the M0110A. 
Yeah, it's a, they are so nice keyboards. Uh, you know, from time to time, what I like to do is to take them out and just play with them. I love doing that because they are so different. Oh, you got the GK. I remember you saying that it's and uh, you owe me a picture if I remember correctly. Try hard. Uh, I got the real flex. I got the geek. Yes, it's custom painted. All right. Are you guys ready to see this baby? Uh, let me hold on. I just got a text that I need to reply. Sorry guys, uh, let's see. Hey fish, long time my friend. Long, long time. How are you? How are you doing? All right, still waiting for my lube. Oh, should be there tomorrow. Nice, which one did you get again? I forgot. Are you guys ready? Wow. I took a pick. I cheated. How are the key projects? Oh man, uh, I'll have a, an unboxing, I think next week, that is gonna unveil a big progress on one of my of my projects. But other than that, doing, doing good, doing good. Jesus Christ, this is beautiful. Like really beautiful. Look at that. Wow love this color like seriously and that badge over here wow as i said it's a very deep blue and we have some rubber feet an extra plate hold on let me put it to the side right here i got the extra plate and an extra pcb because i went with both the Bluetooth and the regular PCBs. And I think I, I got lucky because... Yeah, I, I'm in love with this color. Let's take a closer look. So I was saying that I heard that people are having issues with the Bluetooth uh, PCB. Oof. Oh, no, that are Neeks. Oh, I hate... That's really bad. There is one here very, very noticeable. Too bad, but that happens. Let me give you a closer look as well. There. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. You have two, two marks as well? Okay. Yeah, the problem is that this one is gonna be bothering you when I use it. It's gonna be right there. So look at that round back baby and let me get some foam so i can put it on and we can put the the bump on is on hold on i'm kind of stupid right i could get the packaging foam instead hey lanes how are you I haven't noticed any imperfection now that you pointed i can only see yeah yeah uh, that's i call it the dead pixel effect i don't know <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense i remember i bought a hold on guys let me fix this yeah so i bought a an imac and i paid a lot of money for that my first mac and i came home i turned it on waited for it to boot and the first thing that shows when you're installing it is like a white screen and I could see like maybe five or six dead pixels on the top right corner. Oh my God, that ruined my day. But I went ahead and installed everything. Then I, you know, thankfully I took it to the store 
and they change it you know right there but it was terrible it was a horrible experience for a day or so <laughs> but they changed it you know no question asked yes i forgot about that uh but yeah this is very different where you have this usb port if this thing focus ever come on help me out here the usb port is actually on the left side which is pretty unique right but since we have we are zoomed in let me give you guys a better view of this beautiful badge, this beautiful brass plate. I think sandblasted maybe. Oh no, it's it's uh it's not it doesn't feel like sandblasted. I think it's just the way it's coated or something. I don't know. All I know it's beautiful. There is this little LED um indicator here or RGB kind of indicator. Let's see, Cipaluti, what do you prefer? Adron Inks, Tilios, or Retoot Blacks? So I'll put that in order. So I prefer Gatoron Inks first, Retoot MX Black second, and Tilios third. Just a heads up, uh, the new Tilios, the V2s, they are coming very stretchy. I had um, mine come very stretchy, scratchy. And I have a friend that also received maybe a third of his were scratchy. So be aware. Yes, CA. Yeah, I, I knew that already, that it's really, really light. So let me see if I can position this correctly because I'm really known. Hey, D-Dang, thank you for the follow, man. By the way, let me know if you're here in chat. Come and say hi. So I'm really terrible at putting those things correctly. I am not, I was not born for handcrafts and things like that. You see, I think I did it wrong. I am really bad at this. So let me see if I can put the first side. And then, my God. Sorry guys, I was not born for this. Yeah, it's still not perfect. Let me try and do it from this side. I am really struggling here. There we go. I think now I'm onto something. Let's see. Even if I, I think I'll have to cut it because even if I go right to the edge here, there is a little bit of material left. I'll, I'll get a scale. So I'll have to adapt it later on. Let's not mess with that right now. Yeah, I'll get a scale in a second. Send it back. <laughs> yeah, this one is better, but this other one here is too long. Okay. Yeah, this is not perfect, but that will do. Let me get the scale. Give me one second, guys. Hold on.
<laughs> I was uh, getting my scale so we can see how much it weighs. Um, so this is basically a a 65%, but HHKB, and with the arrows and the function column a little detached from the main keys. Oh shoot, it's Sophia. <laughs> By the way, hello Sophia. Welcome. So this is two and uh, two pounds, six and three fourths ounces or freedom units. A bug just really and I have no idea what this means so what I like best about this scale is this feature here which then gives me some context right one kilo and 102 grams is a whole lot better yeah what happened Sophia Yeah, metric for the win. I'm with you on this one. Okay, let's uh let's open it. Let's see the insides, the guts of the keyboard. Just promise you guys won't pay attention on the terrible job that I did with the with the feet look at this this looks like a W good thing I don't get to see it a lot anyways Horrible, right, Jubies? <laughs> Sorry, man. Can't unsee. No, it's terrible. I I don't have any problem on admitting I did a terrible job with that. At least I warned you guys that I am terrible at that. I am so sorry. Okay, how do this thing come apart? Turn it upside down and see if it. Hmm. I don't know how it comes apart. Is this part supposed to come out? There we go. It needed a little incentive. Okay, so we have some parts for the PCB. I see a little daughter board here with, um, I always forget the name of this connector, um, of this flat cable. I know it's not the proper name. Uh, we have another daughter board here, and I think this is for the battery. So a battery connector and something else. Some washers. And uh, this is the bottom or the bottom lead. And then we have the plate. Flex cable, there you go. Thank you, Lubtilios. Ribbon, yes, whatever you want. <laughs> so let's take a look also at this Bluetooth um, PCB.
Okay, so there is a place here to solder a switch. So we could turn it off the LEDs. There's a little drawing here. Not sure what that is. Maybe the logo of the designer, not sure. CAD 66. Get your kicks on CAD 66. So, LEDs. Some microprocessor, the Bluetooth chip. Very common one, I think. Let me see. Or is it? No, I don't think that's the one I used before. Never heard of this one. And then, oh yeah, ydkb.io. That website from Yang, I believe. Uh, let's also take a look at my extra PCB, which I think is the regular PCB. So if something goes wrong with that Bluetooth, we have a backup. Yeah. So this is the non. Uh, I'm not building, not building it today. Just unboxing, demon. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the time to build it today. All right, so there we go. CA sixty six. The the re re oh that that is what the designer is. I think Bob Naive. I don't know if I'm butchering the name, but I think it's something like that. Then we have all the beautiful vias, all the beautiful traces. And on the back side, our loved AT Mega, AT Mel. And yeah, pretty much. Oh, and here is the daughter board connector that is kind of funky. Oh, there we go fixed. All right, so we have both PCBs for a good measure. Let's take the plate apart to take a look at that. Yes, and as I said, it's not rough to the touch. It has this very nice, it's almost like a powder coating, but I know that must not be the case, or I don't know much about that, but looks like that powder coating kind of texture. Really, mine feels really smooth to the touch. It's, it doesn't feel grainy at all <laughs> or chalky. I should do an ISO. Do you think? Maybe. Maybe I'll do an ISO, who knows? Yeah, I don't have any ISO keyboards. That's maybe a good idea. So here's the plate. It really feels really smooth, no chalkiness. Doesn't feel grainy at all. Super smooth to the touch. Uh, one thing that I always like to do when I remember is to check if the if the inserts Yeah, 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 that that makes sense. I have two PCBs if the switch inserts are tight. Yeah, perfect Not overly tight, but Not loose either. So that's perfect That is perfect. All right, um Let's see if we can test the PCBs right now as well. Let me move this plate aside. Let's first take a look. Oh, I need to put in the daughter board to test it, right? How much of a hassle is that? Let's at least try to test the non-Bluetooth one. Yeah, now I'm seeing the PCB texture. I didn't, I didn't notice it first. But there's a very nice texture to it. So normally those things, they go up, um, but this one doesn't want to go up. So I'm thinking that 
it doesn't come up, go up. Uh, let me see how, do you guys know how I insert it here? I don't want to break it. Oh, I see now. So it's probably, is it facing up or facing down? I see contacts at the bottom, so I believe it's facing down. Let me push it in. Yeah, I think someone else said something about the, the PCB itself. Maybe I'm mistaken, I don't know. Let me get a tweezers. Interesting, doesn't want to go in. Nope. Wow, this is challenging. Yeah, I'm not doing it right. The ones that I did before, they open to the top. So you pull it out and then you basically flip them over. But there, there seems to be enough space for this to fit. Chubis, can you help me? Oh, um, so how do you insert the ribbon cable or the flex cable or this thing here? Because I'm pushing it. It seems like it's in. And then when I close it, it's loose. You don't think that's for that? Okay. So how do I connect the daughter board to the main PCB? This one? Hmm. Do you have the Bluetooth or the or the regular? Because I was doing the regular, not the Bluetooth. I believe these cables are for the Bluetooth. I'm almost sure this is for the Bluetooth version of the PCB. <laughs> because there is no way to connect. Yeah. Yeah. You have a regular as well. Yeah, I think the that this kit is for the regular. This kit is for the Bluetooth. And I from the type of the connector I'm seeing here, I am almost sure this is a, a flex cable kind of connector, but I'm doing something wrong. Did you have any issues with your Bluetooth one? Hey, Game Boy, how are you? And I am 99% sure that the way that these connectors work is you pull them out and maybe you flip them over, like I said. Hold on. No, they definitely do not bend. Let me try again. Let me see if I can push it any further. Oh, there we go. Now it's in good. 
or at least it was at some point. Let's see if I, uh, yes, we have a winner, guys. You just have to use a little bit of br brute force, and that's all. But lucky, luckily for us, we have another one on the other part. So we get to practice once again. Should be the same ordeal. This one was 10 times easier. And we're on. Alright, so this is the thing that sits to the side. Let me try and plug it in. Yes, that's a very good sign. I don't know if you guys could hear, but we have the windows. Bum, bum, bum kind of thing. Let me share my screen. No, sorry. Yeah, there we go. Let me go into keyboard tester. Right, so guys, you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. <laughs> so the LED seems to be working, which is good. And I see we have a few um, hot swap. Interesting, hot swap. So let's see. Let's uh, just change it to Josh. As a tradition on this channel. Let's see if we can get it to activate. So Josh is not working. Why is that? Hmm. I could not hear anything. I'll flip it over. Oh my God, my eyes. There we go. Josh is Josh is back. Josh, <laughs> did you miss it, Josh? <laughs> yes, I bet you didn't. <laughs> We'll test the hot swap ones from the bottom. It's really hard to test from the top. Yeah, the windows thingy. I'm on the wrong road. There we go. So I think everything's working. Let me just get to the to the hot swaps one. If you guys don't know, that's how I test uh, hot swaps. I touch the two things from the bottom. And this is not actuating. Are we on the wrong place? Let me see. No, nothing. Hold on. Oh, wait, it's just not making the noise, but I see escape and F1. We need a Josh emoji. Yes, Josh, we do. Josh. 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 Yeah, this one is, is this actuating? I don't think so. Maybe it is a function, this two, or a function one and function two. Who knows? Let's see this bottom one here. Josh. Yep. All right, so uh, aside from those two that I suspect that can be function one and function two, 
everything else is working, so that's good. Look, Mr. Multiples of One, or they are not multiples, everything is multiple of one. Mr. Multiple Ones has just arrived. How are you, my good friend Talisma? Thank you for joining us. How are you? Kinda missed you. Not gonna lie. How have you been? Thank you so much for the cheer. All right, we were just finishing taking a look at this beautiful specimen here. This dark blue kind of navy uh, CA-66. <laughs> it's so good, it's so good. There's always YouTube, right? Yeah, round two, round two. One of the exclusive colors of round two. And we are putting it back. We tested the non Bluetooth PCB and it's working fine. So we're putting it back together. You got the white one. I Yeah, that was my second choice. I was really torn between white or blue, but this blue appealed to me so much that I had to do it. Yeah, I'm, I love this keyboard. Um, did you put something? You and uh, also Chubis? <laughs> did you guys put anything under the PCB to account for the voidness? Or the hollowness that's underneath the PCB on this one? Yes, I have, you know what my dream board is? The white dream board is this here. Can you guys see? Me. Right here. This is a Germini. This is one of the best sounding boards that I have. It's really good board. Love it. Really love it. So you're using Sakurios on yours? I, ha I got some Rosilios. But I'm using my Rosilios on my Dolce CR that we'll be unboxing, you know, in the coming upcoming days. I have it right beside me, just waiting to be unboxed. And the reason I'm using that on the Dolce CR is because I am not a big fan of integrated plates. Uh, my main keyboard is this one. Let me show you. I built it very recently too. This is the baguette that we built this week. And I rebuilt it with a polycarbonate plate. Let me give you a typing demo here because I think it sounds really good. And in order to do that, I need to enable my previous mic and go mute on this one. So hold on. Actually, this guy has um, Everglide switches. This is, they are very, you know, they're very, 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 very similar to Thelios. Everybody say that those are the Thelios. Yeah, I heard that it doesn't capture. I don't know why though, but I think it's, it has to do with the preamp that I need to add to this mic, which I will get to soon enough or eventually. All right, I'm not going to put the PCB inside here this time. And uh, 
everybody pretend that you guys don't see the terrible job that I did with my rubber, rubber feet. If you don't see, oh, there is a one screw. What did I miss? There is one screw more than I wanted. Oh no, never mind. I, I don't know how to count. I don't know how to math. Yeah, I love this mic. I am in love, in love with this mic. So it isn't an, an amplification. I'm not elite enough to qualify, transact purchases, and trade with you. Or Mr. Keeps. Come on, everybody knows that you're an elite in the community. You and Looped Helios are very known in the communities. You're, you guys are everywhere and we love that. You're, you're too um, humble. We all know you're not such thing. All right, let's find a new I wonder if the box that I was planning on putting it on is going to fit it. I doubt it. Hold on. I'll just just put it on the original case or box. It is surprisingly light. Yeah, I think I should put the PCBs down here first. Let me do that. Chubis, how many how many keyboards do you own at the moment? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, very very well put together um, packaging. Really digging it. Yeah, he's into the high ends. Nice, nice, man. I, I would love to see a picture of your collection. If you have one at hand, let me know. We'll share it with the world. Not with the world, but with um, my audience, which is not a lot. We are 12 today. Oh, it is gone, but I can, I can, I can, uh, I can show you. I'm putting it back into its packaging, so you'll be able to see it. Hey, Amit, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of late, but you guys can still have a peek. So this is the CA66. About 20, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> Especially if those 20 are really high end, like uh, Talisman says. So this is my dark blue or navy blue CA-66. Yeah, I really, I'm really digging this guy. Look, very nice. Pretty happy with it. All right, now that we cover that, do you guys have anything else uh, you want to see? I bought solder wire to build my Lubring gate, but I don't know if I can handle it. Of course you can. Why, why wouldn't you be able to handle it? Young Padawan. 
Too tired. Oh, yeah, because of your tiredness. I see. What, what did you do that was so tiring? Did you exercise? <laughs> it's Friday, man. You're supposed to go out and do stuff. Yes, uh, I'll probably do, do on this one. I'll probably do Sarbotane. Uh, look, I, I have been saving <laughs> my Sarbotane for this build. I just realized that my camera is kind of weird. It's not supposed. Yeah, they're not centered. So what else, guys? Uh, I don't have anything left. What do you guys want to talk about? I'll be young tomorrow. Make an online inventory of some sort so I can aspire to own what you want. Yes, and uh, funny enough, you four hours to do? Wow. So you're not the first one to suggest that I do an inventory kind of thing, which I'm tempted to do, but that's going to be a lot of work. But I don't mind. I'll do it. Cool RGB keyboards. Yes. Uh, let me get you. Let me see if they are out here. I have two uh, acrylic cases that are really RGB intensive. So if you have uh, epilepsy or something like that, it's not recommended. Give me one second. I'm not sure where my acrylic builds are at the moment. What's that board on the bottom right? I think it is right here. Yeah, this is an M0110. So I couldn't find the one that I like the most, which is the... Um, the... Um, oh my God, I mowed. The tofu acrylic, but I'll give you my... This one, which is... Hold on. Let me see. This is USB mini. This is my five degrees acrylic. Let's see if RGB comes on as I plug it. Oh, let's see. Oh, it doesn't. It's not working very reliably, is it? Too bad. Let me see if I can find another PCB. Hold on. What color is most missing from GM key, key set so far? That's a very good question. Yeah, the problem is that I have a certain degree of color blindness. That's why I don't mess with color, you know, keycaps. I do have acrylic screws, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> uh, are they? No, they're nylon. I don't have acrylic. Hold on. Let me try to see if I can find another PCB.
Sorry, I'm gonna catch up on chat in a second. I'm just trying to help to show something to our friend. What is his name? I missed his uh, his name. Red Hat, if you're still there, I think this one may may work with the RGB out of the box. If it fits. Wow, what is the deal here? Why won't you come in? There we go. Let's see if we get some RGNBs for you guys, for you, Red Hat. There we go. Alexa, office lights off. Alexa, stream lights off. Is that is that what you're looking for? I don't know how to I don't remember how to maybe something around here. Let me see if I can make it swirl. There we go. That's a little swirl. So I have another case that is prettier than this, but same material. <laughs> Alexa is so smart. It's too smart. Alexa, streaming lights on. Alexa, office lights on. Hope that was a good RGB demo. Um, Red Hat. So let me, let me read back. Yeah, I love the diffusion on this. Really, really cool. <laughs> Your RGB craving has been satisfied. I, I'm glad, man. I had I could cater some RGB goodness to you. Uh, so Sophia asked something, right? Uh, let's see what what is the the topic. I know it's something about a keycap or a key set. Oh, GMK Sophia. Oh, I've seen that one. Let's let's take a look at that right now. Let me just plug my keyboard back. <laughs> Hold on. I think I have. Is there an IC for it? I may be wrong. I may be mistaken. It. Do you have a link? Why are you yelling? I don't know how to turn off this thing. Oh, so I have not seen it. Ah, uh, okay. So I, uh, yeah, sorry. I mixed that up. Do you have a, a render or a KLE that you can share so we can take a look? <laughs> We're spreading rumors intentionally. Let me bring up that, um, Virtual keyboard kind of thing, on-screen keyboard. Oh, not even designed, so sorry, guys. Completely misunderstood. I thought, I thought I've seen it, but I was wrong. <laughs> um, so question about the style of keyboard that I like the most. I love, I love 60% first. Uh, no, let me take that back. I am really into 40%, then after that 60%, and then after that, I think, TKLs. But that's only because I don't have any... I only have one 1800, so that's why. So 40% is my, is my favorite time... Not times, uh, form factor for keyboards. 
and uh you know amongst the the 40 percent i really like my pearl let me show you my pearl So the thing I like the most about the pearl is that it's uh, two colors. So it's uh, in the, I love the colors. It's this kind of orange in the bottom and this shade of light blue, I don't know, on the top. And then there's the acrylic layer. So I'm really in love with this keyboard. I love it. And it sounds good too. Oh my God, how did I forget about the TMO? Right, that's the ultimate flex thing. Hold on. I can't take both at the same time because then my keyboard in the back wants to fall. I don't know if you guys can hear me. So yeah, this is my Simblings TMO 50s. Tian, yes, that's the color I was looking for. Sorry. Let's take this out of the picture. You can take a look at those. And I really like the green. This is from uh, Mountain Blocks. Yes, Mountain Blocks. I just put this on recently. I love it. So those are probably my favorite. If I could take three, I would do those three. I love this green with camp, camp and this wooden space bar. Really love them. This set is GMK Taro. Taro. I don't know how you you say it. It's T A R O. GMK Taro. Oh, the M zero one one zero is the is the Apple one. Hold on. So this is the M0110. And I actually had to replace the caps lock because it was, I don't remember, maybe here, here, here. Oh no, it was a locking key and I changed this with a regular switch because I used this as control. Hey Frisco, how are you? Welcome. Yeah, <laughs> it is an actual blast from the past. It is super hollow and I thought about modding it and adding Sarbotane, but I think I thought, you know what? Let's keep this as it's supposed to be, the way Apple intended it to be. It's super hollow, but it's super fun to type on. Like completely different from Recent stuff. Thank you so much, Talisman. Is that the time that I do that know you kind of thing? <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, guys, I think I'll have to wrap this up. Unfortunately, I need to go do some errands, but hey, thanks everybody for your time and for joining me on this unboxing. And uh, I am almost sure that I'll do some more streams throughout the weekend. Um, but if you guys don't catch that, at least try to catch my set time that I do every Tuesday every Tuesdays at around 6 to 6.30 p.m. Eastern is when I do my builds. 
if I don't see you though, <laughs> yes, uh, no kids yet, but yes, I do have the wife to cater to. If I don't catch you or if you guys are not able to catch me during the weekend, you guys enjoy your weekend and I'll see you guys on Discord. Have a good one. Bye, guys.